This video shows how to make a pure tone measurement with the Unity 3 audiometer. After opening the Unity software, you find the general information of the selected client on the central dashboard. On the right, a detailed view of the last session is displayed. A list of the previous sessions is shown on the top. You can choose between the different tasks available within the Unity 3 system via the task list on the left. If workflow support has been activated, a list with workflow steps is displayed in the top panel. It provides direct access to each step by using the predefined parameters. Click to the Start button to begin and follow the steps to complete your test protocol. To navigate directly to the audiometry main page, you have to click the audiometry section on the task list. On this page, you can choose between pure tone and speech measurement. A list of the previous audiometric measurements is displayed at the bottom of the screen. To open the audiometer workspace, click the pure tone measurement button. In case you want to start with a clean and empty grid, click the New Measurement button prior to opening the measurement window. To open an existing measurement from the session list, double-click on it and it will open automatically. To display an older measurement together with the new audiogram, select the older one from the session list and mark the checkbox Show with Current before opening the audiometer workspace. The window opens with the default settings. In this example, the default point is at 30 decibel and 1000 Hz for the right ear. The curve type selected in default is the hearing threshold level measurement. To present a tone, click on the stimulus button. The sound level can be adjusted with the plus or minus buttons or with dedicated keys on your keyboard. To present another tone, click on the same button again. Repeat this procedure until you reach the threshold level of your client. To store the threshold, click on Store. After the threshold is stored, the program jumps to the next frequency in a predefined sequence. Continue this procedure for the default frequencies or any frequency of your choice. If masking of the opposite ear is necessary, activate masking from the control panel. Set the masking level in the control panel. Optionally, activate the level tracking checkbox to maintain the signal and the masking level ratio unchanged during signal level adjustments. After storing of the threshold, the masking level is displayed below the audiogram. You can measure all other curves such as the bone conduction level or the uncomfortable loudness the same way. The talk over function is accessible either from the top panel or from a dedicated shortcut key on the keyboard. The microphone works as press to talk function. Adjust talk over microphone sensitivity with the slide on the VU meter to meet 0 dB input while pushing the talk over shortcut key on the keyboard. The talk over level in the client's headset is adjusted in units of dBHL with the slider control located in the top panel. To edit a threshold level, right-click the corresponding symbol and a pop-up window opens. Select the entries Unmeasurable or No Response to change the symbols of the curve. With the entry Normal, you can reset the symbols. To adjust the display to your needs, use the icons in the top panel to show audiograms separately per side or overlaid in one grid. Also, audiograms can be displayed in either HL or an SPL view. When using high-frequency headphones, the displayed frequency range of the audiogram can be extended with the top panel icon. The side panel allows you to overlay the audiograms with more information. For example, speech banana or letters for speech sounds. When right-clicking on a test type in the test type panel, 
A submenu opens that allows you to quickly access the type of masking to be used, the settings of the interrupters, and the kind of reset mode and start level for the selected test type. Changes in this submenu will not be remembered after closing the workspace. Use the test definition dialog to make permanent changes to the test settings. After completing the measurements, press the Save button. Clicking the Close button will take you back to the audiometry main page. 